when you're starting off your morning going to Costco, you kind of need to take the list with you and your water and your Hawaiian shoes. Breaking these bad boys out today because it's not raining. I just love these. I actually gonna look for a, I'm actually gonna look for a new pair. These are pretty worn out. So I'm gonna see if they have new ones on the website. I happen to know a guy who can order me some. Hi, welcome to our day. Look at that. That is sunshine. There is not a rainy cloud in the skies. Very excited for the nice weather outside today. Hang on, I gotta grab a recycle. So I'm gonna put you away. Guess where we're going? Costco. Okay, well that doesn't happen ever. Under 100, we even got an extra case of Coke. I know. We have sunshine, just need to document sunshine. It's a little chilly, yeah. but given that my brother just got 12 inches of snow yesterday, and for the first time this season, they are on a snow day for their school district, and my dad got 10 inches two days ago. So I will take cold and sunny any day, like 100%. And we've had like, like not much rain. It rained all day yesterday, but we've had a, a fairly decent season. Um, in terms of like how many rainy days we get, but I am surprised we managed to pull out of Costco for under 100. I just showed you a present, so I'm gonna tuck that away with the other presents that are here in the in the car. Don't tell anyone about that one. That one happens after our trip, so keep that one hush hush. Don't tell that child. She doesn't watch the video, so. Um, anyway. We are off to another store. Again, I can't tell you what store that is because it might give away what we're gonna get for another birthday girl. And then we have um, a call with Ashley's therapist and um, her school counselor, finally. We're trying to have a constructive conversation about how to help her help the teacher. And I'm probably going to schedule an appointment with the teacher very soon. Because the amount of anxiety I actually had last night to go to school today is pretty high. She dealt with it very well with me last night, which I gotta give her credit for. She's learning how to do that quite well. But she doesn't deserve to have that anxiety about going to school. So that is what's up next. All right. We're just sitting here in, in the car. We kind of started taking the call right as we were getting home from Costco and running one extra errand. We got one more present at the store. Can't tell you what store. And we couldn't find one other present. Um, but actually it was too expensive. <laughs> but we just did um, call with um, Ashley's school, her counselor and her therapist. Um, and we have a good plan in place. Um, it was good to inform the, the counselor of the concerns we have for her with the teacher in the classroom. Um, I haven't gone into details of that with you guys, um, just because it's not necessary, it's personal. Um, not trying to throw the teacher under the bus. Um, just trying to create a world of anxiety-free moments for my daughter at school and standing up for what she deserves to have. And we are gonna follow up with the teacher after the counselor kind of casually, you know, lets her know that we have some concerns so that she doesn't feel on the defense when I reach out to her. And we're gonna do that call where I would rather almost meet in person. I think it's better to meet in person, body yeah, language. Yeah, body is language like is key. Way more important. So we'll meet with her, or I, I likely will, uh, meet with her soon and feel good about it. And I have, uh, Another scan. They just asked me to do a scan about an hour ago. You dig your boobs. <laughs> no, this one is. Oh, okay. <laughs> not my boobs. <laughs> Although they do like the high density. High density. Um, volume for my ladies. Um, they're just on a round. They have a whole bunch of people here from different countries, and so I'm like, just keep them coming. Just keep asking me. Um, so I'm gonna. We're gonna go get. Are you dropping me off to that appointment and then you're gonna run a few more errands, correct? Yeah, sure. Um, just because you like spending time with me so much. I do. No, he just doesn't want me driving his car. <laughs> we didn't do a video on that, did we? On what? No, we're not discussing that. Okay. No. Just made myself a little veggie chicken 
protein bowl. Kind of had to have a hard conversation with one of our children <laughs> this afternoon when they got home from school. So it just made for a little bit of a, I don't know, I'm in a bit of a somber mood as well as Jason and the other person involved. Um, so I haven't really eaten well today at all because I've been bouncing around from one thing to the next. And I had gotten a bowl of chips and I was like, nope, that, nope, I need to put that away. Um, Abby, <laughs> she loves these garlic pasta mixes from Costco, but she, this is literally the only noodle. Oh, well, there's two. She picks all the noodles out and has noodles and the vegetables. Um, and so this is the last of the bag. And I just have a bunch of vegetables and a bunch of chicken, which is actually perfect for me because I, I need the protein and the vegetables. So to win-win, she will never likely eat the last part of that bag of pasta, which is why we bought two of them when we bought them. So I am going to sit and eat this and edit a video. And um, Ashley is trying to plan a play date with her friend, so I might have to take her to um, play. It's only 4.30, so. I'm ready to, um, honestly, I'm ready to tuck myself into bed and watch my phone. Like I'm, I'm ready to like not do anything and not be a mom and not have to make decisions and not have to disappoint kids. And anyway, <laughs> it's just how my afternoon is going. Um, but I can't, so I'm going to try and like make a healthy choice and make that, hopefully that'll make me feel better in the end. Blue. I'm blue. It is late. It's almost 8 o'clock. <laughs> the night didn't get any better. I'm just gonna be um, a little bit honest with you. I don't even want to pull my ponytail down and pretend like I'm looking decent for you because it's been a hard afternoon um, on a multiple kids front. <laughs> Apparently I'm the problem. But that's okay. Sometimes moms need to be the problem. Um, and, but I'm just the parent. I am sometimes moms have to make the parent's decision. Jason backs me up, but, um, no one is mad at dad <laughs> for the parental decisions. They're only mad at me for those decisions. Um, and, uh, it, it's hard. And I had to, like, fight back from crying and yelling. Oh, I didn't hold back from yelling <laughs> at one point. Um, but it's, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat this day. That's what it is. That's what it was. And, you know, um, I can't go out and pretend like life is, everyone's fine now. Ironically, Jason's watching a show. That one is miraculously fine right now. The other one is fine upstairs. <laughs> um, but it meant, anyway, just Jason had to take another kid to leave the house because they couldn't handle the chaos that was here at home that I had to deal with. I'm not gonna sugarcoat any kind of a nice ending to our day because that's not the way it is. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my face and have a slice of the pizza Jason just brought home. Cause he's like, I know you're not gonna wanna cook after the night we've had. So he did that and um, if he's not gonna watch a show, I'll watch The Bachelor and then go to bed. If not, I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed, yes? <laughs> Let me end this and I'll come out, okay? <laughs>